What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone Light. Oh, yeah, guys. So today, today, we're going to be working towards getting this ultimate stew. We have been trying to get ourselves the Infinity Catalyst. Is that what it's called? Maybe. Uh, and the one piece that we're missing right now is this little fella here, the ultimate stew. So, yeah, this is going to be our task for today. It's a little bit of growing things, some automations. We need to make sure we get all of these different crops grown and then set up the auto crafting for all of them so we can place them into another one of our extreme crafting grids here and make and make the items that we're looking for. Uh, I think, no, I was going to say, I think that there might be multiple extreme crafting recipes in this, but there are not, but we do have to make different things like the pork sausage, for instance, no EMC, but we have to craft all these different items. So we have to have all those different things going. So overnight, the server has been running and our quarry has been going. Uh, we've been collecting a lot of emerald blocks. Uh, we had 13 million and I just went back to the mining world and I set it up. So it does another quadrant. Previously, we were doing like, I don't know, let's say the northwest quadrant. Now we're doing the northeast quadrant. I don't know if those directions are accurate, but you can think about it that way. So anyway, uh, by the time this is done, we should have like 26 million blocks of emerald for EMC purposes. And then we can still do twice that amount by doing the south side. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have plenty of EMC. Not a big deal. Okay, so let's start taking a look at this. So the ultimate stew does require us to have pile of neutrons. We have that already collecting. You can see those through the world right there. At our neutronium collectors. Uh, so we can... Not worry about that. Water essence we've had going for a while now. So if we go over here and we look at water, we can see we have 285,000 water essence. We're good to go on that. Fire essence is one that we don't have. We do have an auto craft though, uh, fire seed. And I've went ahead and I crafted up one of those. So yeah, we already have fire essence essentially now ready to go. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure my magnet is off. That is not my magnet. This one is. Let's make sure that's turned off and we'll head over to our farm and we'll just go and drop the fire seeds in here so they can do their thing. We'll start collecting that. Oh, that's crazy looking. <laughs> yeah, we'll start collecting fire essence back in our ME system. Let's take a look now. Fire essence. Yeah, we've already, we have one of those. So that's now taken care of. We'll just be collecting one of those like every seven seconds or however long it is in between collections. So we are good to go on that. Cool. So we can start adding in some of these things, I suppose. Let's grab neutrons. Did I mention that I connected this to the AE system so we can see all the neutrons that we have? I don't remember if I did. Anyway, we I did that. That's a thing that I did. <laughs> okay, so let's also grab a fire essence. One of those. And that's the next one on the list right here. Cool. All right, so now we have those. Now we start into the Pam's Harvest Craft section. So dough, this is EMCable. So we just have to make one. So we just need salt, water, flour, and a mixing bowl. Let's see how much of this stuff that we have here. Let me just search for that dough. Oh, it's easier for us to click into it. So if we do that, all we have is just a bucket of water. So let's make a mixing bowl. Easy. We will make flour. So that is a mortar and pestle plus wheat. Looks like we do not have a mortar and pestle. But we do now. That's only 7 EMC if we want to make a lot of those. I don't know why we would, but if we wanted to, we could. Okay, so there's flour. Flour is 24 EMC. Salt. We don't have, and I think salt's pretty easy. Yeah, so it's a pot plus water. It's a salt. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then dough is the only thing that we need to do here. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, let's just make a stupid amount of salt real quick. Okay. That is a very stupid amount. That way we never have to worry about salt again. We might need this for a future recipe. I know we can just make the dough and then EMC this, but I feel like we might need salt for something else. So let's just make sure we have it. So I'll put dough in there. Let's grab a star. Way more EMC than what we need. But there you go. Now we don't have to worry about dough. And if we want to set up an auto crafting for this, we can use another one of these energy condensers, pipe in stars or some other lower value item like we were doing for the singularities and always have dough available. We just extract dough from the chest and insert stars. Easy, right? I think that's fine. Okay, so moving on, we now have dough. Let's grab that. 
that will go right here. Perfect. All right. So now we need a tomato. Now I don't believe we have tomato. No. So this might be the point where we look at that market thing. I can't remember if I showed you guys this a while ago. So you place this market down and a little villager erupted from the ground made a sound like he was coming through the, the ground. I set this down just recently and now it seems like the villagers fall from the sky. So I don't know if there's just like a random chance and how these villagers work or if that's just an update. So let's place this down. <laughs> that's kind of funny how that works. Okay, so we can right click on the market itself. We don't need to interact with the villager at all. We can right click on the villager and it does the same thing. In fact, we can kill Emerald Muncher <laughs> if we want to and still use the, the market. I don't really know what the purpose of the villager is, but if you don't want the entity around, that's a thing you can do. Okay, so we want a tomato. So in order to do that, we need one Emerald. I like the way this thing works. This is really nice. It's a big upgrade compared to the Pam's Harvest Craft Market, which, by the way, both of those do exist. Uh, market. Yeah, so you have the Pam's Harvest Craft one, and then you have this one from Farming for Blockheads. This one from Pam's is disabled. No crafting recipe. So this is like, this, it does the same thing, essentially. Anyway, we want emerald. Let's just grab the little emerald pieces. So tomato. One of those, one of these, done. So now we have all the tomatoes that we would ever want, okay? I think we can plant that over there by our magical crops and our farming station will take care of it. We probably will end up doing that. Okay, so let's move on. The next thing we need is a pineapple. I think we can do it the same way. I haven't tried yet. Pineapple, yeah. One emerald for that. Oh, I have to take it from here, whoops. Okay, so now we have, <laughs> The tomato, we have the pineapple cheese. This has EMC, so we only have to make one. Yeah, so this one does require salt. Okay, so cheese is one that's gonna require milk, and I don't remember if we have any in here. We do, fresh milk, perfect. So fresh milk plus salt. Let's actually go back in here real quick. And a pot makes cheese. Okay, great. So we can put cheese here instead of dough, and then we can go ahead and use a star and make a whole lot of cheese should we want to do that. Oh, whoops. No, sorry. Wrong thing. But that goes there. That goes in there. Now we have all of the cheese. Cool. All right. So we don't ever have to worry about running out of that stuff. And like I said, with the dough, or like I said, like with the dough, we can always set it up so uh, we could use an energy co condenser to make cheese and we'll just extract it later, right? Okay. So there's the next item. So where does the cheese go in this one? That is third from the top, this one. What about cheese in there already? How did that happen? I don't know. Anyway, so I guess I already put that in there. Uh, so we have tomato, pineapple. Let's go back to the farm. Let's make sure that those will work over here. So pineapple and tomato. Yeah, it looks, oh, you know what? That doesn't work because it gets harvested Ah, are there crop sticks in this? Crop sticks, crops. No. Okay. So that's going to be a little bit different. So it harvests it, harvests it and it eats the seeds as well. Hmm. So that might be one that we'll have to automatically bone meal or do it in a different way. So the farming station isn't touching it, but maybe the imaginary time is. Let's take a look at that pineapple. So we don't get the seed back, but we do have a pineapple. And what was the other one that was tomato? Okay, so we have the same thing on both of these, but yeah, it just nommed those seeds. Not really what we want. Okay, so let's grab dirt. I don't know how far away that imaginary time block works. Does it work if I put it like right here? I don't know, let's find out. So if we do that, let me grab our hoe, which might be in here. It is, okay. So yeah, we'll grab this guy. Oh, the imaginary time is going to make that really hard to do this, isn't it? I'd have to put water right here. All right, so let's try it. And place that down. So it looks like the imaginary time still works right there, but the harvester doesn't. 
Okay, so that's gonna be just fine for us. So we can go ahead and use like a mechanical user to right click on that. And our advanced item collector there should still be able to collect the items. So let's go ahead and just add in a special area for these things. I'll go ahead and make some dirt here and we'll put it right next to it and do one of those actions. And then finally, one of these. Now we need our mechanical user. Okay, it looks like we have two of those. So if I place those down, those face up. Yeah, and then it looks like it does harvest. Okay, let me get rid of that water. Yeah, I don't think we need the water there. As long as the ground is tilled and the plants on it, it's never going to uproot. I'm pretty sure. Cool. All right. So now let's grab ourselves a wrench so we can turn that thing. So they're facing the correct direction. Yeah, I clicked it so many times to make it go the right direction. Okay. So now we have that. We want to do use item on block, right? Click always on Ac activate block with item. There we go. Activate block with items. So now both of those are going to be harvested all the time. Cool. And we keep the seeds and we lose one of those guys. Yeah, squids <laughs> spawned down there. Uh, let me go ahead and grab some more dirt. I think we're just going to add in a full section here like this. And maybe we'll add in a little spot for water here. We'll do something like this. We'll add this in. We'll surround it with a border just so it doesn't look like really ugly. I think something like that should be okay. Cool. And then I'll grab some slabs here. Yeah, we'll just finish this up. So it looks like it's supposed to be here and it's not just a silly add on thing, which it really is. <laughs> and water there. Okay. So that should hydrate everything. Everything should be happy. And all of this border, not only does it make it look a little bit better, but it'll also keep those pineapples and the tomatoes from going down to the void. Now it looks like that's just outside the range of the advanced item collector here. So let's go ahead and add in Z. We'll give it two more blocks on both of those. And that should be picking these things up just fine when there's room available. Okay. I think we're good to go. Yeah. No speed upgrades required in this. Cool. All right. So that was a little bit more work than I was thinking it was going to be, but you know, it's still pretty easy. Let's be honest here. Okay. So we'll put the, the medic away. Kind of put some of these other things away that we don't need on us at the moment. That, that I think we're good. Okay. So now we have the tomato and the pineapple. Perfect. Both of those items. So this one and this one, we're looking pretty good now in our ultimate stew, right? Okay. So next thing is a baked ham. Now that does have EMC, which is great. So we need sugar, apple, raw pork chop and bakeware. Now I don't think we have bakeware at all, but we might, let's just see what happens. If we shift click it, we don't have the bakeware. Okay. So bakeware, looks like it's rather inexpensive. Just some bricks or nether bricks. Either way is going to work. And there we go. Baked ham. So let's grab a star and we'll do the same thing we've done before. Is make sure we get a lot of those. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So now we have a big tan, which goes here. Uh, beef Wellington. So this is a thing that we've made before in the past, uh, in a different series, not this one. So this one does require dough, raw beef, which has EMC, some kind of a mushroom and then spinach. So it looks like spinach is another seed that we're going to have to get. I'm going to have to need an emerald from our system here, I expect. And then we can come over to our marketplace and search for spinach. Uh, spinach seed plus one of those plus that mechanical user. We need our, our medic again. I guess I should leave this stuff in my inventory because we're probably going to have to go back and forth a few times here. <laughs> I don't really know how many of these special seeds we're going to need for all these different crops, but here we go. There's that a spinach seed and another mechanical user. And then we'll have to smack that a few times with our wrench to get it to point down and switch it again to activate item with block. Cool. All right. So now spinach is no longer an issue. Now that we have that set up, it's very, very quick for us to just add in new plants like that, which is a great. Okay. So spinach. Actually, we needed to make beef Wellington. So this is going to be a recipe that we're going to have to set up and apply to energistics. 
So let's set up a recipe for that since this does not have EMC. Okay, so now we can tell our system whenever we want to to make beef wellington. And I'll just stick it, how about right here next to our seeds. Okay, so beef wellington. Let's craft up, how about 30? We don't have the mushrooms, okay. So mushrooms are EMC-able. Uh, star. We just need one star and we want the red mushroom. Where'd they go? Come here. Come here. There it is. So red mushroom here. One star. Now we have all of the mushrooms. <laughs> I think we're going to be fine. All right. So beef Wellington. Let's make a hundred. Can we do that? We don't have enough spinach. Let's just make 20. Let's not get too crazy here. All right. So beef Wellington done. Grab some more of these mushrooms. Clear this out a little bit. And those. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. So beef Wellington here. So next step, we need to make pizza, supreme pizza, and meat feast pizza. All of those sound delicious. All right, so a pizza is made with tomato, dough, pork chop, cheese, bakeware. I think we have all of that under control right now. So there is this one. There is a pizza. That should be made with applied energistics. Let's make a recipe for that. Okay, so we will find a special spot for our pizza. How about right next to the HDPE? Okay, so now we want to uh, do this pizza here. Do we have all of that? No, we just have the pizza. And now we're gonna need bell pepper, spice leaf, and onions. So we know how to get those. Also a cutting board is another item that's gonna be needed. Uh, looks like we do not have a cutting board, so I will craft one here. Very much easy EMCable as well. Onion, spice leaf, bell pepper. So again, we're gonna need some more emerald. Onion, spice leaf, bell pepper, onion. So onion, spice. Uh, spice leaf seed, there we go. And bell pepper. What just happened there? I started typing and then it like, Went out of the screen. Now I'm just throwing everything on the ground. Bell pepper. I guess that's one word. Okay, so there we go. Bell pepper. Cool. So I'll just continue adding those on over there. We got three more that we need to do. And then we have a meat feast pizza, which requires pepperoni. Oh, this is going to be a whole new thing. Okay, well, let me get the, the pizza done here. The Supreme Pizza finished up, and then we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so we have all these new patterns in our system now. Underneath our pizza section, we made one for pepperoni, which is going to be using a cooked pork chop, which has EMC, salt, cutting board, spice leaf, bell pepper. So that's not so bad. And we also need one for pork sausage, which is a cooked pork chop. Again, EMC, salt, cutting board, and spice leaf. Most of these different ingredients we already had cooking up, especially uh, with the Supreme Pizza. So we had to do the onion, bell pepper, and spice leaf. So we have a good portion of those things ready to go. So with all of those things crafted and auto craftable, uh, we went ahead and made a pattern here for a meat feast pizza. Cool. All right. So back to the pizza section, we can throw this guy in there and now we're auto crafting pretty much everything in the system in order to make these different things. Now, again, certain things like uh, steak, for instance, uh, I just put, I cooked one, raw beef, put it into the thing with one star. And we have like 2000 of these. I don't know how many of these ultimate stews we're going to need. I can't imagine we're going to need that many. Um, so anyway, yeah, a lot of the ingredients, we could set up the energy condensers to just automatically create them. And if we need a lot of these things, we will in the future. But anyway, uh, we have everything together in here except for our meat feast pizza. So let's make one meat feast pizza. That sounds delicious. So this has 29 saturation. This thing has 400 saturation. I wonder if we should just switch over to the ultimate stew instead of like using these apples. These only have 18, <laughs> only 18. Anyway, so there is that guy. So that gives us five ultimate stews. All of that gives us five. That's actually really good with that 400 X saturation. Okay. So now we have ultimate stew. We should be able to place that here. And there's our infinity catalyst. Yeah, again, I don't know if we're going to have to make more ultimate stews for anything. I know we had to do this recipe once. And as you can see, 
with that EMC, <laughs> we can make as many of these as we want to. So that is super awesome. So now we can grab things like our blocks of emeralds here. We can put the infinity catalyst pattern right there and just click all those guys in. And now we have stacks of infinity catalyst. That is so good guys. Okay. That's just like a ghost item there. So yeah, we now have all of the EMC available to make all of these infinity catalysts, which is fantastic. Now, again, the use is for these guys. We need these mixed with crystal matrix ingots and neutronium ingots to make an infinity ingot. And those will make infinity blocks. I don't know what the infinity blocks are used for anything other than decoration. Let's see if we can make molten infinity if we want to. Looks like we do need that for the planet eater. Okay. So at this point, we should take a look and see if we can make the, was it earth? No, what was it called? Block breaker. No, let's go back to Aver, Averidia. I can't remember how you spell that. World eater. That's what it's called. The world, oh no, world breaker. So that's what it is. We need all these infinity ingots here. Some neutroniums in the crystal matrix. I think this is going to be our next thing that we need to make here. So we need how many that is going to be eight plus seven. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 infinity ingots. So two blocks worth of infinity ingots. So again, to make the infinity ingots, we need all these neutronium ingots, a lot of the crystal matrix ingots, and then a lot of the infinity catalysts. Let's see if we can start doing that. So neutronium ingots, we have a lot. Are we going to have enough? I feel like we probably are going to have enough here, right? I can't imagine that we're going to need that many. So was that like this? Okay. So that gives us two. <laughs> so one stack gives us two of those. That's not very many. Let's yeah, I think we needed, what was it? 19, I think is what I said. So let's try and fill these up. So we get 19 per. And there we go. There is 19 of the infinity catalysts ready to go. So let's go and craft all 19 of those. Oh my goodness, guys. That is so good. The fury of the universe in the palm of your hand. Awesome. Okay. So we want to do the, oh my goodness. Is it world breaker? Yeah, this thing. We want to go ahead and make one of these guys. So we need a crystal matrix ingot, or I guess a block, not an ingot. Oh, we need that. Don't we? I guess I'll make one right here. Okay, so we have 19 of those. We have this, then we need, was it seven neutronium ingots? So yeah, we still have like over 300 of those ready to go. That's not bad at all. So let's shift click this guy. And there it is, guys. There is a world breaker. So this thing is amazing. So this is in a pick form and then you can shift right click it to turn it into a hammer form. So you can do more than one block at a time. But this thing does have fortune 10 on it. Yeah, this is going to be really good for us killing the chaos guardian. I do believe we get like 20 chaos shards per chaos island using the world breaker to break the core. Yeah, that's going to be really, really good for us. Uh, so I am curious though, if we go back to our quest book here, it's been a, kind of a minute since we last looked at this. Let's just see what it has to say. Now, sort of the cosmos is another one that it wants us to make. What do we have left to do to make one of these? So we need a starry sword. All right. So a little bit of the Gaia guardian. We've made a few of those starry things before infinity catalyst. Easy, easy. Those are easy. And Sanium ingots, I don't think that's a thing we've had to do. And then a lot more of the infinity ingots. Well, we know how to make those. And those really aren't that big of a deal. I guess I'll go ahead and create the Sword of the Cosmos real quick. Because I definitely think that we need to do that for this quest. So let me go ahead and get the materials for that together. And then we'll be right back, guys. Unfortunately, we're falling short on the neutronium ingot department in order to get all these infinity ingots made. I thought we were going to have plenty since we had these things going for a while, but unfortunately, that is not the case. So as you can see here, I've added in nearly double. Would it be double if we didn't have this compacting drawer here of our neutronium or I guess our neutron collectors here. Yeah, I just got done. Uh, well, I took one of these. I set it into our chest up there, put in a bunch of emerald blocks and duplicated it. These things do have an EMC value. So I went ahead and made a new stack of all of those guys up here. And then I fixed the problem that we had in the front of these neutron collectors. So they're all kind of facing the same way <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we should be essentially doubled on the amount of neutrons, neutronium that we are going to be collecting 
but we did fall short like I had mentioned, so we are not able to make the Sword of the Cosmos today, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so we needed 17 of the Infinity Ingots. We have all the stuff except for the Neutronium Ingots, so we are missing two stacks of 17 plus an additional three more right here. Yeah, what is that, 37 more of the Neutron Ingots? Well, we don't have them right now, so we can't really make our swords, and this is a vast majority of what this thing needs. Anyway, so we'll just have to hold off on that. Uh, the Neutronium, we only have one ingot remaining. We had zero ingots just a little bit ago, but yeah, these will be going overnight on the server or whatever, so we'll just be collecting these all the time, and hopefully next time we'll be able to come back and make those. Now, I was just looking. We have another quest besides the Sword of the Cosmos. It wants us to do the Suspicious quest, which just requires having Neutronium Ingots, Infinity Catalyst, and Crystal Matrix in our inventory. So I think we can do that if we just take some of those, grab a Infinity Catalyst, or three, I think is what it was. And then what was the final bit that was Crystal Matrix? Let's grab some of those, put those in our inventory. So that should complete the quest, or do I have to click the button? Maybe I have to click the button. There it is. Suspicious quest. Okay. So we will claim that. Loot chest. There's only one. Is this a special loot chest? I don't know. Let's pop it open. What do we get? We get our chemical bags. Ultra rare. I don't think we're going to be using those. So we can learn those and just kind of like convert those into EMC. Yeah. So if we ever want to create those, we have those colors. Then we also get um, our chemical bags before. Yeah. It looks like we had those same three colors. So we'll just go and throw those in there just so we get some EMC, I guess. We can convert that back into stars or something else later on. Okay, so this task, it says it's complete. Unclaimed rewards, but we have claimed them. I'm not sure why it says that. Oh, is this just a, is this a repeatable quest? Cool down 15 seconds. Suspicious quest, auto claim. Did, did it eat those items? I guess it did since I don't have those in my inventory anymore. Okay, well, we did that one, which ate some of our items, but that's fine. Uh, Infinity Armor is another one. And I assume we're going to need Infinity Ingots for this. Yeah, so we need all these Infinity Ingots to do this. Now, I'm curious, Molten Infinity, is that a thing we can cast back out into blocks? Is there something that we could do with that that would make our life easier here? Can we cast Ingots out of it? Maybe we could find ourselves a fluid cow that's molten infinity and save ourselves a lot of headache here. Going through here, I see we can make all these tinker parts, but it does not look like we can cast a block, nor does it look like we can cast an ingot. Uh, we can fill up various items here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can do what I would like to do, <laughs> which would be super cheaty. In Project Ozone 2 Kappa mode, we were able to get ourselves an animated wand, which would animate a block, so we could make a block of infinity ingots, animate it, and we could use like an MFR auto spawner to spawn in more of those animated blocks. When you kill the block, it drops a block, whatever that animated type was, but there is no Erebus in this mod pack, which means there is no wand of animation in this mod pack, which means we pretty much are doing what we're doing right now in order to get the infinity, which means we're waiting on these neutronium ingots. I mean, we are collecting the stuff, right? It is, it's kind of slow. I don't think there's any way to speed that up. So we're just gonna have to wait, essentially, is where we are on that, unfortunately. So we do have the world breaker. So this is really awesome. We'll be looking at using the world breaker uh, probably next episode. I figure that we're probably about due to go say hello to the chaos guardian. We will go take them on. We will use our world breaker on them in order to wreck their faces. Now, I am curious. Before, before we leave, let's just go to the Emerald World real quick. Yeah, I think, I think we should do this. Let's go to the Emerald World. So over here, we have a huge dirt patch. Now, if I set this into hammer mode and I break one of those, you can see it does like a huge section here. Uh, I don't know why they didn't give me any dirt. It should have given me items back. Hmm. Anyway, so you can see, like, this thing can be very dangerous if you're using your base. The pick mode, just one block at a time. Yeah, this mode right here with the hammer, if you shift right-click on it, 
that'll ruin your base. Don't put that anywhere near it. You're going to have a bad time most likely. Uh, but yeah, we do have our emeralds going over here this way now. So I suspect if we go over here just a little bit, we should be able to see them. Yeah, this is the new dirt section. Uh, it is now <laughs> starting right here. That's awesome. So another thing about these worlds, you can see how there's grass. Yeah, so apparently the way this works, the, uh, the builder, wherever that is, the builder block will find those chunks, it'll load the chunk, and then it'll take all the resources out of there. But if the no player has been there, then there's no, like, grass or tree populating going on. So if you don't explore out, you can get a lot of different grass and potentially trees and flowers and stuff spawning on the dirt, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. Instead of flying back, let's just do this. We got ourselves a world breaker. That's super awesome. We're going to go fight ourselves a chaos guardian. We're going to get a whole lot of chaos shards and we'll be able to progress even further in this mod pack. Super cool. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.